Well, hello, Malcolm Cabby here. Oh, on a Saturday evening, just before England Brazil, <clears throat> sitting in my car to do a my taxi to do a latest update for Sun and the FC. <coughs> 20 to 7, 23rd of March. And yes, it is freezing cold. Springs on the way, doesn't feel like it. Well, so Jack Clark agent dropped surprising update on Sunland's future amid a potential U-turn for Jack Clark. <clears throat> so Sunland have been given a glimmer of hope regarding the future of Jack Clark. The 23-year-old, 23-year-old, had blossomed since the Black Cats return to the championship, with 15 goals and uh, four assists to his name this season already. It comes after a failed Premier League move with Spurs and several uneventful loan spells um, after, but with Sunderland, Clark has really found his footing. He certainly has that as well. <coughs> In recent interview, um, the Northern Echo, Clark's agent Ian Hart revealed that Lazio offered close to 20 million including add-ons for Clark, which Sunderland still felt wasn't enough for the winger. Clark is under contract until 2026 and so Sunderland are under no immediate pressure <coughs> to sell, though a sale this coming summer has always seemed like the most likeliest of outcomes. So Jack Clark could make the Sunderland U-turn. Clark has made no qualms about being kept at Sunderland, who have rejected bids from Burnley and um, now Lazio. But Hart has been quite open in speaking about his client's future, previously saying that he hopes Clark gets his big move this summer. But speaking to Northern Echo though, Hart suggested that Clark could yet stay at the Stadium of Light. He also revealed that Clark was open to signing a new deal with the Black Cats early this season, but the negotiations broke down. And Hart said maybe it's in the summer that previous contract talks might change. We'll have to wait and see. There's always a chance. I would never close the door. Jack loves it at Sun Football Club. And why wouldn't he? So we'll just have to wait and see what the next couple of months bring. So Sunderland would do very well to keep Clark. Clark may well love playing for the club and so on, but still seems highly unlikely he stays. Um, in recent reports, he now has the footballing world at his feet after another breakout season in the Championship. Now with Sunderland without a permanent manager in place and plummeting down the table, Clark will surely see his development better served elsewhere, some of the critics have said. <coughs> and Christian Speakman and owner Krill Louis Dreyfus may well be very keen to finally cash in on Clark. Not only do they have a manager to find and a potential payout for an existing contract, but they also need to back their new manager in the transfer window with this current set of players not performing. Not to mention that they'll need to bring in someone else to replace Clark's gold if he goes, goals if he goes. With his, re, with his recent absence from the team highlighting a huge lack of star quality and the goals have dried up. So a summer exit remains likely despite Hart's comments, but if nobody comes in with a reasonable offer, then Clark may well stay on with your side for a bit longer. So, I mean, there we go. I mean, seeing that the the world's at his, the world's basically changing Jack Clark. I don't, I don't think the world is literally chasing Jack Clark, to be quite honest with you. Um, but there's like hints there that, you know, he could be staying at the Stadium of Life. And um, we could have him next season. <coughs> and... If they were to sell him, what price tag would you put on him? I mean, didn't we get him? Was it, I don't know, 10 million or something? But he's got to be a lot more worth than that if we do decide to sell him. I mean, how much do you think Clark should go for if he does go? Reports saying that he's possibly going to stay. Um, some people, some fans are saying that Clark, I don't think, would cut it in the Premier League if any. Premier League club would uh, snap them up. I mean, especially that game against the Mags where he just didn't get a look in. <clears throat> but as far as I'm concerned, every player on that pitch just didn't perform, uh, if, if I'm rightly, if I rightly remember. So there we go, that's a, just a bit of news about Jack Clark. Um, 
So shun, so sh, such an un, so, I'll get my words out. I've only had two glasses of diluted water. Should Sunderland do all they can to keep Clarkland? There's hints that he's staying, but should Sunderland pull out the stops to keep him? Or what is the big deal if he does go, sort of thing? At least we'll cash in a bit of money. Um, how many times have we said it though? Sunderland don't perform and Clark's not here. And that isn't good enough. Do you know what I mean? That just goes to prove how weak we are in the striker department, doesn't it? So there we go. Let us know in your comments. I'm going to go in now to watch the England-Brazil game. I'm not really that fussed, to be honest with you. I'd rather be the, the football domestic season up and running. But uh, enjoy your Saturday, folks. I'm going to go, down and watch the, go in and watch the football. See you later.